A Coventry technology company says it hopes to create hundreds of jobs after inventing a driverless vehicle to carry luggage at airports. Arigo says it's had a phenomenal response from the airline industry after British Airways asked them to trial GPS-guided pods to speed up the airport experience for passengers. Ben Godfrey has details. We've all been there. Your flight lands early, you're eager to start your holiday, but the carousel's silent and there's no sign of your luggage. But there's a new chariot on the case. It's the first driverless luggage dolly designed and made in Coventry. There are over 900 of these kind of operating in just one terminal in one airport in one country. So if you were to times that by all the terminals and all the airports in all the countries around the world, uh, it's a massive, massive opportunity. The Dolly's been trialled with British Airways at Terminal 5 at Heathrow and there's already international interest in the design. Airports have hundreds of trolleys manually driven and it takes time to fill up three before they're sent into the terminal. Fill up one driverless pod they say and it's on its way, using GPS sensors and lasers as its route guide. Origo is hopeful of creating hundreds of jobs. Why is it so important that young people are able to get involved locally in something so new, new technology? It's really important that uh, you know young people, uh, both you know men and women, get involved in this technology because it is so new. There's an opportunity now for people who may not have experience in automotive, but you know they're, they're programmers, they're engineers, they're electronics people. They can get in now and build up that experience. The West Midlands, the historic heartland of car making, is fast becoming a leader in driverless technology. Of course, there's a human cost, fewer baggage handlers for one, but businesses insist the potential of the pod is undeniable and the sky really isn't the limit. Ben Godfrey, BBC Midlands Today, Coventry.